with the real BDR, right? This is the real one? Yeah, yeah, this is real. I don't want to know best damn roofer in here. Uh oh, it's be plain Jane, plain Josh. This is the first public <coughs> interview with a Josh Bigger, not best damn roofer. Okay, let's do this. Welcome back to Roofing Insights. I'm your host, Dmitry Lipinski. Today I'm sitting here with the best actor of roofing industry, actor behind second best YouTube channel for roofers, best damn roofer, uh, the first ever interview with a real Josh Bigger. You've never seen Josh Bigger on the camera before because everything you see on YouTube is actually best damn roofer character. Uh, I assure you it's two completely different people. Which right. one do you like more? Uh, to be honest with you, I like Josh Bigger more and people don't realize it, but it is two different people. I mean, with yes. this guy, you can actually talk about politics, some business, uh, you can talk about raising kids. I mean, Best Damn Roofer is literally character, right? That's what it says right on the website, fictional character, right? So how did you come up with that fictional character? Well, I've been roofing for a long time, just like most people in the industry, spent a lot of time on the roofs and with your with long days involved. I just got into boredom, basically, putting shingles on, going home, doing it again. And uh, in the roofing industry, everyone's always got, a, everyone's always fun. There's always the, the jokers, right? Everyone's always having fun at work. So we just kind of decided to just kind of start videotaping it. And then that uh, it just snowballed into uh, the character, which it's, it is now. Yesterday, you told me you wanted to be a firefighter. I went to school to be a firefighter, yes. How long have you been in school? I went to school after uh, yeah, high school. Went to college. My so you actually graduate high school? <laughs> Surprisingly, yes. See, yeah. Best Damn Roofer never made it past third grade. <laughs> never, never past third grade, that's correct, right? But me, unfortunately, I finished high school, went to college for, fire uh, for the fire, uh, fire department services, and then uh, my family's involved with the fire department. My three bro brothers are all firefighters, my uh, dad, my grandpa, uncles, and so forth. So it wasn't for me. I'm uh, a little black sheep of the family still. Some of the BDR is who I am. Uh, it's, there's a little bit of a BDR in everybody, I think. Right? Well, like in any actor, there's uh, also personality. But a um, little bit background, we're sitting here at um, Minneapolis Roofing Insights business class, and uh, we did have cancellation because of this guy, literally because of his character. And the people see you and think that you are who you are on the internet. How easy it is to be a different person on the camera than in real life? How easy? Uh, it, for a while, actually, it was tough to like to. I remember when I first started doing it, my dad was like, "Whoa, like you people are gonna think that's your business." But in a small town, like I grew up in a small town, nobody thinks that, right? They already know who I am. So for a long time, we didn't release any videos into our area. I I set the Facebook setting to Michigan, to Texas, anywhere but home. So you were like, testing different markets, how people are gonna react. Yeah, and then finally got it. One video got shared, and it was like tons of views, and it, like everyone kind of saw it. And then it was like, okay, I can't actually hide it anymore. I make, <laughs> I'm making stupid videos for the whole world to see it. It just and it kind of snowballed, right? Are you camera shy? Mm, I wouldn't say that. No. <laughs> um, what's your <coughs> plans for the business? I, I, I see you you sponsoring some brands. Uh, what's your end goal, I guess? And I mean, obviously you have a roofing company, but you're also an entertainer. Mm -hmm. Are you pursuing a uh, business career as an entertainer? Like, or? Well, I was a musician for years before I started in the industry. I was in a punk rock band. I was in two of them, actually. Uh, one was called Amped, one was called Socialite. We toured around on the Warp Tour, opened up for some major bands like Blink-182, Sum 41, uh, The Used. This is going back to the early 2000s, so they might not be popular right now or ever will be again, but that's what we did. So for now, we've got about five or six gigs booked as the BDR throughout uh, this upcoming months. And um, I don't know if it's something I'm going to pursue, I'm just kind of seeing where it goes, you know? Like just just let it unfold, and if it, if it falls off the edge and nobody likes it anymore, then so does the BDR dies in a horrible death in a bathroom toilet somewhere in Minneapolis, you know? If not, he keeps going on to success and riches, you know? There's only, there's only two outcomes, either he dies or he keeps going, so we'll find out. Stay tuned. <laughs> As a father of five kids, um, tell me about like that life. So you have a business, you have crazy YouTube channel, and you have five kids. How do you come? Like, how do you find time for everything? It's really tough. Well, the videos are only five or six minutes. People are like, you make videos all day. Like, I made videos for ten minutes. I went home, put my babies to bed, then I edited them, and then I show the world. Right. So it doesn't really interfere with my lifestyle. But the kids see me like making these videos outside, and and they just kind of it's they don't even. Them. They're like playing on the swing set. Dad's out 
chugging banquets and running around in his underwear. And they're like, oh, that's just dad doing his thing after work. So it, we don't have a very big house, big family, small house. So um, it is, uh, it's, it's pretty interesting right now. What would you say your work-life balance look like right now? Are you happy with it or are you working too much? Or I cut the work back a little bit in the last few years uh, with the two younger children. We have two uh, small children. They're three and four. The three, uh, three oldest are a little bit older. And uh, yeah, I did take the work back and based more on family. Like, awesome. Instead of working that Sunday, don't work that Sunday, you know, because that Sunday might not come next Sunday, right? So you got to think of the family before. Sure. You can't just work your life away because the next thing you know, dad was never there. And Absolutely. You know what it is. You got five kids yourself, don't you? Yep. Cheers. I was actually surprised. So we invited Josh Bigger as entertainer. And uh, all of a sudden, he showed up in the class, and he's sitting in the class, and actually, the comments you made and conversation we have, I mean, he came to our business to a warehouse, and I mean, I don't want to say what happened after hours, but during the business hours, it was actually pretty decent, uh, pretty decent conversations happened, and I'm like, like we're talking business with the best damn roofer. I mean, it blows my mind, to be honest with you. I mean, um, he, he was sitting yesterday at the class, and he came to me, he said, Dmitry, what you talked about that offer, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. I'm like, what? You're actually learning something? I learned one thing this week. <laughs> now, what do you think about class, and wh where are you taking your roofing business? Like, I mean, wh what's, uh, what's Josh Bigger as a business owner look like? Well, we are uh, an independent sales rep for the company Diamond Shingles, and if you've watched my BDR videos, you yep. can see them in the background, but my wife, Tanya, is a sales rep for them, and I'm an installer for them. So we want to, like, integrate our company more into doing steel and, like, longevity roofs, but obviously we still have to do the asphalt side of it. But um, at one point in my career, I wanted to have, you know, 20 crews and do that, and, and we, we, we did that at one point. We, we built up staff, and it was, uh, it's something that I didn't enjoy. Like, I, I didn't like that. You don't like the business life? I just don't like too busy, right? I like to be able to manage my jobs and manage my, my clients so I know what's going on. Well, thank you so much for finding time to come into Minneapolis. What do you think about business class and the crowd, and did you have time for last two days? I've, uh, I'd come back. I'm really enjoying it. It was the first time I've actually, like I've been to a lot of conferences, but most of the times I went as the BDR and it's just like, go here, do this. And then it was really busy. And I'm in and out. This is the first time I've actually sat down and tried to digest some things. It's a little smaller setting than most of the conferences I've been to. So it's really comfortable um, and really enjoyable. And I've actually, I've taken notes. I've learned a few things and I'm going to put them towards my business when I go home. And then we'll do another interview and see how it's going. Awesome. Thank you guys. Um, don't forget to subscribe to his channel and um, keep following our amazing channel. Be coming. <laughs> we are rivers and we wake up at dawn to put those shingles on and we get home at dusk and we don't make no fuss. We are rivers.